So if we look at why ERP projects fail, and these are the top 10 reasons we've identified through our experience, our research, and our expert witness experience as well, which uh, is a big growing part of our business, uh, providing expert witness testimony to uh, failures and, and providing that testimony to attorneys that hire us to, to provide that independent view. But in that experience and research, uh, we found that six of the 10 reasons why ERP projects fail have something to either directly or indirectly do with organizational change management. So you can see that uh, the areas highlighted in blue on this slide are the areas that uh, are related to organizational change management and can be mitigated by organizational change. So lack of management commitment, lack of uh, business process and workflow definition, and, and kind of the corresponding employee and end user understanding of business processes and workflows uh, is, is directly related to change management. The, the resistance to change, failure to track benefits, inadequate training, and poor, poor employee communications. Those are all some of the themes that we see in the expert witness work we do, as well as when we flip the coin and look at, or flip to the other side of the extreme and look at the projects of ours that have been the most successful. Um, these, are the, these are the 10 factors that we find uh, will either make or break a project. So the bottom line is that organizational change management has a huge impact on failure rates, and it also has a big impact on success rates. So um, you could make a pretty strong, compelling argument, uh, which we all often do, that organizational change management is the single most important thing that you can do on a project to make it successful. Because let's face it, the, the technical aspects of a, of a project, whether it's the design and configuration of the software, it, it's, it's not that it's easy, but it's relatively straightforward. There's not a lot of complexity to it. And, and if you have good resources that can provide uh, that, that subject matter expertise, and a lot of we have a lot of those experts on our team, so you know, we mean no, no disrespect to them, but that's not what's going to make or break the project. What's going to make it or break the project is more likely going to be some of the softer, less, um, less clear things in a project like organizational change management. So organizational change, you know, why, is it, why is it needed? Uh, if you still aren't sold or you still are skeptical of why organizational change management should have anything to do with, with an ERP project or a large business transformation of that, that nature. Uh, you know, first of all, I, as I already mentioned, OCM increases business value because you have an increased acceptance. And we already talked about that OCM and training is one of the top reasons for failed ERP. And probably the most important point is the third bullet, which is that software alone does not deliver be business benefits or performance improvements. It's the people that do. So you can have a perfectly designed and flawlessly executed technical configuration and, and implementation but still have a massive project failure. In fact, we've seen more than one instance in our expert witness practice where the failure and the lawsuit had gotten so out of control, but at the same time, the software itself worked perfectly fine. And so it became a lot of talk about what, what went wrong, why did the business, you know, why was the business brought to its knees as a result of this implementation where the software itself worked perfectly. I mean, it, it technically worked, but it wasn't working perfectly for the business, and that was the real problem. And that's where organizational change management bridges the gap between what the software can and does do and to what the way people can and should use the software. And finally, people fear change. And change management is a way to, a way to alleviate those fears. So it, as I mentioned, OCM is not an optional thing that you, you, know, you can kind of maybe just choose to, to uh, roll the dice and see how it goes without change management. You can pretty much be rest assured that if you don't adequately invest in organizational change management, you are going to have trouble. Uh, making the project successful. So it is very much a, a critical success factor uh, on ERP projects. And the other thing to think about is every time there's a change, whether it's related to ERP or whether it's related to um, global expansion or you, you, you merge with another company or you just have other changes within your company, employees in general go through a cycle of change that begins with uncertainty it kind of bottoms out its skepticism, and then eventually, over time, you get to this level of commitment to where people have bought in. Um, they're comfortable. They're back to being produ as productive or more productive than they were before the change. But the, the problem is every employee in every company is going to go through the cycle. And so it's not a matter of if they're going to go through it. They are going to go through it, even if you have effective change management. The question is going to be how fast do they get through the cycle, and how disruptive is the cycle going to be? to your organization. And so the goal of organizational change management is really to accelerate this process and minimize the negative impact on your business and increase the overall positive impact after the change is fully taken effect and after 
employees have embraced the change and are fully bought into it. So that's really the goal and the kind of the mindset we have when we go into these types of ERP initiatives. 